Nothing like casting for pike or spinning here. There he is. Good one. You want to get a net for me? Oh, no. oh I dropped him. Oh, he was a... <laughs> Oh. So, yesterday I came down to the pond for a little bit with, you know, the water being like 36 degrees or something like that right now and didn't bring my camera because I didn't think I was going to catch anything and ended up catching a bunch of fish. So, today I'm going to bring down my camera. I don't know. Maybe we'll catch something. I hope we do because I did yesterday. So, we'll see what happens. On. Oh, they're thick. Oh, I just stepped out of my boot. My foot's covered in mud. That's great. There you go, Case. Nice. What is it? Large mouth. Thick one. I stepped out of my boot and I stepped in the mud. Nice. Yeah, I'm on a roll, as you might say. Uh. On. Another giant. It's that same size. Oh. Man, he was on there for a while. He was on there for a while. Oh, not bad. Oh, here we go, second bass of the day. Not a giant by any means, but it really feels good to have him tug a little bit because it's been a long time. Did I tell you I saw two grass carp yesterday? Here? Yeah, one big one. Like three footer. My lure touched it. I was trying to snag it. Ooh, drag pulling that one. That might have been a snag. Oh! Oh, what? Dude, I got hit, it dropped it, and I went to set the hook and I got snagged. Dude, I f***ing set into that hard. I ain't getting this one back. I kind of just pull it off down along the bank very, very slowly. Let it slide down the bank. And then it seems that when it gets down the bank and then to the basin, that's when I hit it. Supposedly, supposedly rattle traps are supposed to work when the water's like this temperature, but I haven't got it to happen yet. You guys are paying attention. Oh, no way! I was just telling Case. Apparently, 
rattle traps are really good for bass right now this time of year when the water's super cold and i did have my gopro on and i caught one on it but i did not catch a bass i caught a big freaking crappie that is a slab on the rattle trap lipless crankbait whatever you want to call it no way that is so sweet i thought i just got smoked by a bass That is freaking cool. That's probably at 11, 12, 12 incher probably. Oh, look at that. That is a slab. Caught it on a rattle trap, lipless crankbait. I was just kind of bringing it in slowly, giving it a little jig every now and then. That is awesome. It is so cold right now. That is so cool. I couldn't believe I get that to bite. Caught that crappie on that rattle trap, and that's really been about it. Kind of traveled around both sides of the pond since then, and I'm kind of back to where I started and caught those couple bass. We'll see if there's any more. I think I just got hit. Fish on! Ha <laughs> ha! It worked! Drop shot night crawler. Yeah, same size, you know, that 12, 13 incher. But I mean, just thicker than a snicker. If we wanted to eat them, man, it'd be a real good eater. That is one more largemouth, not by any means a giant, but it is one. Drop shot with fake worm was not working. Put on a whole night crawler on the drop shot, and this is what we got. So, live bait matters. Well, that's that. Got a couple of fish. Really only caught three, I guess, so yeah, all around a good day. It feels really good to get a, a tug on the line, especially when the water's this cold. I mean, I said it in my last video, but the water temperature, I mean, is probably still in the 30s right now. Maybe the low 40s, but it's probably still even in the 30s. And to be able to catch fish when it's that cold is pretty cool to me. So all in all, good day. Water's just going to keep arming up, and then hopefully the next couple weeks we can get some big ones. Thanks for watching. Nothing like casting for pike with spinning, dude. There he is. Good one. You want to get a net for me? Woo! Oh, no. oh, I dropped it. Oh, it was a... <laughs> oh, it was...